That's right, the day has come. This is Mike with uh, MobileRadical.com. Same old Mike, new website. Uh, no worries, I still will be posting to Medium.com on my local ch uh, site there and via Google Plus as well, which I'll go to Twitter. Uh, Twitter.com slash MobileRadical is the new URL though. There's also a Mobile Radical page on Google Plus that I'll start using a lot more. This is about to get different. What we have, the Note 4, the what some consider the premium device. I wouldn't really agree, disagree with them. It's really, really, really nice. This phone has a lot of nice features to it. I do not mind it at all. It's been a really cool so far. I've had it for a few weeks now. Um, enough to give it a good review, a fair review, I feel. Something that I like to take pride in is how much I keep a hold of the devices before I review them. Uh, I don't try to hold on to them forever until they're irrelevant. And uh, I've done that in the past, and I'm sorry about that. I've been away for a while. But you can't review a phone after a day. It's just not, or at least a video review or a full review that you'd expect anybody to be able to understand or get anything out of. So this is a pretty cool device, Note 4, it's all, it's really nice. It definitely has that premium feel to it. Uh, previous Samsung devices have felt a little plasticky. Sorry Samsung devices, but it's true. This one, not so much. I've been pretty happy with this device overall. I unfortunately actually don't use the stylus as much as I'd like to. It's nice and it's there and as you can see it creates a menu. Each one does a different little thing, each one has a different pop-up. It makes it really fun, but I don't use it as much as I'd like to. Um, there are a lot of people that do use it. My aunt, for example, just got this phone upon my recommendation. And she really likes it. She really likes to use those features. She will draw things and post things and, and make almost little birthday cards out of them, which is really cool. It makes it a nice thing for her. makes it really cool that she can do that. Um, Samsung did a really good job with the interface. It's very similar to what they're used to, as you can see here. Everything's in the same place. All the UIs are the same. It's faster, though. I mean, it's got that 805 rocking in there. Uh, nice, nice processing chip. It makes it really fast. The volume rocker is over here on the left. And the power button's on the right. Charging hasn't changed a whole lot. That's still on the bottom. Luckily, this does use a regular charger if wanted, but it also uses the new turbo charging, which is really nice. I've noticed that charges the phone really fast, very fast. The headphone jack is where it should be on the top. Nothing too much to say different or, or far from exciting about this one, but it is definitely un awesome. Um, I almost said unique. I wouldn't say it's a unique device, but it definitely has everything you'd want. I've taken some pictures with the camera. You can view those from uh, really anywhere. Uh, Google Plus is my, my, the best place you'll be able to see them on. I'll be posting them other places though soon. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot about the phone. Like I said, I like the camera, I like the video recording. I'm not sure why. Okay, Google just popped up there. There we go. Now I said it. As you can see, they're still working on that. Fun, fun things that'll pop up. Um, some things I did notice about this phone that made me a little bit frustrated in the early day or, or in the early days of the uh, of having this phone, uh, I noticed it didn't work very well for certain games. Um, Simpsons tapped out as one that didn't work. Uh, I know, I know. Uh, bring on the lashings now, but it, it didn't work. Uh, I found out that if I switched into Art rather than Dalvik, I could fix that problem. So I'll show you that now. Actually, you go into settings all the way to the bottom. You have to be in developer mode to do it. I won't uh, give you too much information on that. It's a little bit crazy, but if you need it, there are guides online to do it. But if you select runtime here, it chooses Art or Dalvik. I went with Art. Everything runs fast, smooth, great, uh, and no issues now. So <laughs> minor, minor problem, minor problem fixed. Really sweet. As you can see, the phone does look really crisp. Uh, we're shooting in HD. I've got two lights on the phone, and it looks really crisp. It doesn't look washed out. Every once in a while, you'll see one of the lights on the screen. There you can see it entering in the left. It almost looks like the moon. It's really cool. 
I mean, to say this is a regular Samsung device would be a little bit cheap, but it technically is. It's, it's nothing that Samsung hasn't entered into before. I do like how they finally just polished everything. This button here is a little raised. That makes it look nice to me. Uh, other things that I like are the buttons that pop up with the white. They'll pop up here. If you touch them, they'll pop up when you touch get into certain apps. Then they go away. They're not, they're not there long. Just long enough to let you know what they are. Uh, everything loads fast. I mean, uh, some phones I'll have for a week, they'll stop working as fast. Everything loads quickly. Everything's smooth, fluid, one screen to the next. And it looks like I actually just tried to paint something or something there. And it's all smooth, it's all fluid, it just goes. It works. There's no issues. Uh, do I have complaints? Not really. Would I recommend this? Definitely. And uh, like I mentioned, I have already. Uh, it may not be my first recommendation, but I know the fans that would enjoy this. Those fans enjoy big screens at 5.7 inches. Uh, the stylus would definitely be a huge thing I'd recommend. And yeah, it's just a good, stable, quality phone. For people that have had phones in the past that are plasticky or frail, brittle, maybe this is, this is one you should try. Um... I don't have much else to say about the Note 4. It's been a good. It's really good. It's it's for the far, first Samsung phone I really, really like in a long time. Get this phone.